Radio OUM Roaming Across Your Mind And now you're with, with me Patin In this segment English for Workplace Communication Okay now we have Zach here In our studio Hello, Hello Zach Patin. Assalamualaikum Hello OUM I Radio listeners It's good to be back For the third session Happy New Year to all Happy New Year to all And may this year be a better, um, a, a brighter, and also a blessed year for everybody. Mm-hmm. Now, talking about New Year, Fatin, mm-hmm. I believe most of us, um, or all of us, will look at our New Year's resolution. Also, what went well last year, and also what went not so well. Now, shall we just talk about about this for just 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 for a while? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, for this year, 2013, what is your New Year's resolution, Fatin? Okay, this. my New Year resolutions. Okay, for this year is to work harder for this year and uh, be be more proactive and give love to others. Give love to others. That can yes. be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's look. Looking back at the last year, 2012. Mm-hmm. Now, just recollect what what are some of the best things that happened, and also. Any worst thing that that happened in your life? Mm-hmm. Yeah, share with us. <laughs> <laughs> mm, the best thing I miss that smile. <laughs> the best thing hap- uh, happened at uh, in this year. Can I say her? Last year. Okay. Last I mean, <laughs> last listeners. Yeah. Last okay. <laughs> stuck here. You're stuck. Okay, mm. maybe uh, I'll share mine. <laughs> okay, and and maybe please you, you can remember mm-hmm. the best thing that's happened to me last year was my son's graduation. Yeah, uh, he finishes his degree. Yep, and whoosh, that that was a real relief. Yeah, and the uh, the worst thing that's happened to me it's I lost my dad. <gasps> yeah, so at the end of this 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 month, thirtieth January, that will be his his first anniversary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but life goes on. Yeah. Okay. So, Zai, tell us about your uh, New Year resolution. I want to hear yours first. Uh, yes. First. Oh, you've you've already mentioned mentioned yours. Okay. My New Year's resolution. Mm, let me see. Number one, age is catching up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I I would like to give more charity work. Yeah. I do in terms of of my my training programs. Mm-hmm. Also, um, do some some charity work to to the orphanage, for example. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And other than that, stay healthy and keep fit mm-hmm. because you eat well, you live well. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Now, thank you for 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 sharing, Fatidia. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, all the best. Let's hope love is in the air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now, let us hear. Um, uh, yeah, we have two two guests here in 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 our studio today, listeners. Hi. Um, <laughs> let's hear um, some of the examples of resolutions made by others. Okay, let's hear from. Uh, this is Lily. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Uh, I want a well paid job. You mean well paid <laughs> job? Sometimes slip of the tongue, no fault of the mind. Yes. A well paid job. Okay. <laughs> pet is like sanitary <laughs> pet. <laughs> So you want a well paid job? Yeah. Okay. Next, What I else? want to lose weight. Want to lose? Uh, is that uh, she's being sarcastic now? <laughs> she wants to lose weight. Okay. And lastly, I want to travel to Europe. Oh, wow. so to travel to Europe again. 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 Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> hope so. Okay. What about Azwan? Hi. Um. I think I want to buy a motorbike. You think only lah. <laughs> That's my resolution. Yeah. Okay. Second, I want to continue my studies in Tesel. Okay. Wow. Good. Thirdly, and uh, I want to save money for my Sabah trip in February. Oh, <laughs> Sabah trip in February. Yes. And where will you be going next Monday, Fatim? Korea. I'm coming. Oh yeah. Come Sahamida. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we are for a while, or you want to continue a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so listeners, you've you've heard about our own resolutions. Now, what is yours? What is your resolution? What about you? Yeah. Write it down. So, whatever you do and you hope for is working towards what you want to achieve. Just like the words of wisdom here, whatever your mind can conceive, you will achieve. And I always hold on to to, to this quotations. Mm-hmm. If it's to be, it's up to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, Zai, stop here for a while and let's listen to this song. I 
Air Radio OUM roaming across your mind. Welcome back with me and Zach here. Yeah. Okay, we use module English for workplace communication. That's right. Now, listeners, for this uh, third season, mm-hmm. we will look at the contents of this particular module, uh, OUMH2203. Mm-hmm. That is English for workplace communication. Yep. Now, we will talk about some of the topics in this particular module. Not all, but mm-hmm. pers- just just specific uh, topics. Okay, Zach, can you share with us uh, some of the topics yeah, from in, the modules? Yeah. Okay, listeners, all in, there will be 10 topics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I repeat, 10 topics. The first one, which we will do shortly, is network at the wo- networking at the workplace. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to talk about social interactions. How do you introduce yourself? How do you introduce others? And how do you start a conversation? Two is track mindset. Please stay tuned in uh, for this topic because I will share with you the seven track mindset. Yeah, and we we are what uh, we are who we are today because of our mindset. So in this topic, I will share with you the seven track mindset. Yeah, mm-hmm. until and unless you 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 don't release this track track mindset, you will be who you are today, right? And um, the third topic we'll be talking at at, at uh, talking about. I'm so nervous. Sorry, yeah. We're talking about speaking at meetings. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you listeners attend meetings. Some of you conduct meetings, and some of you chair a meeting. Mm-hmm. So we're going to share with you the fine tunes of conducting or attending meetings, meetings. yeah mm-hmm. what you should do what you should not do and some fine ethics of meetings yeah mm-hmm. fourthly we're going to talk about expressing opinions and your views you've got a lot up here in your mind so how do you express your thoughts how do you agree how do you disagree and also how do you um yeah express your thoughts generally yeah generally um fifth we're going to talk about Assertive communication at the workplace. In particular, we're going to talk about communicating work assignments to your staff. Mm -hmm. What can you say to make them want to do it for you, not have to do it for you? Yeah, there's a big difference in wanting to do something and having to do something. Next, we're going to talk about expressing your emotions. Uh, This is my... uh, What do you call it? My my favourite. We're going to talk about the ABC of emotions. Mm -hmm how negative emotions comes about. We're going to talk about some some common examples of emotions. Positive emotions as well as negative Negative emotions emotions. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, speaking in public. Mm -hmm. Next, don't uh, don't, don't worry because nobody died of public speaking before. (laughs) Yeah, so we're going to talk about what can you do to to, to, to keep that butterflies out of your stomach. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah? So some fine tunes of public speaking. Mm -hmm. And how do you make a presentation? during before and after mm-hmm. yeah so uh, we're going to talk about about this public speaking and also making a presentation a bit on the written side uh, mm-hmm. i'm also going to share with you some some tips on writing business letters how do you write uh, k-i-s-s not keep it short stupid it's keep it short and simple mm-hmm. memos how do you write um, reports mm-hmm. and also emails mm-hmm. yeah uh, just just some fine tips of writing business letters, and lastly, what are some of the common errors in English? Yeah. Common errors. Interesting topic. Interesting topic. <laughs> yeah. Then that will be our last topic. Common errors, both spoken mm-hmm. as well as written English. So I hope these ten sessions will will cover this 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 ten topics. So stay tuned with me. Learn <laughs> English with Zach. Uh, Zach looks like ten interesting topic for. This uh, third session. Yes, this mm-hmm. third session. Will there be a fourth session? <laughs> yes. Okay, Zach, uh, stop here for a while. Sure. Let's enjoy with this song. Yeah. Hi, Radio really OUM roaming across your mind. Welcome back with me and Zach here. Yeah. Okay, Zach, over to you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Fatin. Now, uh, listeners, the first topic for, for this season is networking at the workplace. We meet different people from different walks of life every day, right, Fatih? Yep. Okay, so at home, on the way to the office, or in the office itself. So we are surrounded by people. So is it important for us to know them and also for them to know you? So what do you say to introduce yourself and others? Most importantly, listeners, are you saying it right? So listeners, buckle up. Sit back and listen to some of the tips 
on how to apply different expressions to introduce yourself, especially to people you are meeting for the first time, and also tips on the different ways to greet and the various expressions when introducing others at the workplace. And lastly, how do you proactively start a conversation and identify topics to make small talks? Okay, Zach. So, how do we start a conversation? Yes, not everybody loves to talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do we do first? First is we we greet them. Then come the self introduction. Now, listeners, we greet people in in two different ways: formally mm-hmm. and also informally. Informal. Yeah, mm-hmm. informal. Yeah. And uh, so, learners, which one is easier to do? Formal <coughs> or informal? Shall we ask our guests? Which is easier to do, informal greetings or formal greetings? Informal. 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 Yeah. Why? Because we can say anything under the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to look at grammar. We don't have to to choose the right word because it's so informal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And what's important here is what do we say in both scenario? In an informal scenario, we can say hello, hi. You can say your name and and what you do and where you work and which 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 department you're serving let's let's hear some examples okay lady what have you got some examples of informal greetings mm-hmm. hello i'm lily from open university or good morning sir my name is lily and i'm with public relations yes that's that's what you do you can also say this friendly expressions especially for people you are meeting for the first time okay well let's let's listen to more examples from lily hello I don't think we've met before. I'm Lily. I'm responsible for a new students intake. Or hi there. My name is Lily Hidayu, but everyone calls me Lily. But I'm with Human Resource. Human Resource. You see? What's her name? Can you remember what's her name? Listen this. <laughs> yes, her name is Lily. <laughs> so we greet people by wishing them first before we introduce ourselves. Then Uh, these are what we can say. Um, these are what we can say in in a formal in a formal scenario. We've listened to Lily. Now let's see what Azwan got 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 to say in a formal scenario. Formal greetings. Good morning, sir. My name is Azwan, and you are. Okay. Or good afternoon, sir. May I introduce myself? My name is Azwan, and I am from sales and marketing. That's right. Okay. So we've listened to uh, uh, to Lily saying. Informal greetings mm-hmm. and as one with his formal greetings. Now notice here, listeners, we proactively ask for the other person's name, and and the words sound formal. Example: My name is Zach, and you are. Yeah. My name is is Zach, and you are. Why do you say you are? Because you want to find out the other person's name. You don't ask for the sake of asking. You ask for the sake of wanting to know his his name. Mm. All right. Now we greet people by by wishing them. But do you know when to start wishing good afternoon, and when to stop and start wishing good evening? Mm-hmm. Now let's look at what are the time zones in greetings. Mm-hmm. Now, Fatin, a lot of people get confused. Yeah, maybe you too, Saiful and Hafiz in in the in the county. Yeah, you too can get confused uh, by greeting people. So we have to <laughs> greet them according to the time zone. So sorry. Yeah. Now. It's me. Now, when do we start wishing good morning? Because I get confusion a lot of time. We wish good morning from uh, any idea, Azwan and Lily. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they are confused too, <laughs> listeners. Okay, good morning starts from twelve zero one a.m. Mm-hmm. to eleven fifty nine a.m. That's when you start wishing good morning. Yeah. Now, good afternoon starts at twelve noon. And at four fifty nine p.m. in the afternoon, and when you start wishing good evening, five p.m. to eleven fifty nine p.m. So remember, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So listeners, if you are at a social function, or even after office hours, even if if it's nine p.m. at night, we will still greet good evening, uh, and we wish good night only when it's all over and we want to say goodbye. Okay, so good afternoon, listeners. <laughs> okay, Zach, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned, listeners.
are you doing and moving across your mind? Now you're with me and Zach here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, listeners, networking at the workplace. The point to observe here is when meeting people face to face, remember, first impressions count. We have to present ourselves well at all times because we are representing your organization, which is Open University. Image is important. You are how you look and what you say. And always remember to say it right. Um, these are the basic ways to introduce, to introduce yourself. <laughs> I am Zach or I'm Zach. I'm from finance. My name's Zach. I'm from admin. My name's Zach. <laughs> I'm from admin. So please observe the correct verb to be here, listeners. I am. My name is. And the contractions I'm, which is I am. And my names, my name is. Always remember to say it right, yeah? And grammar must always be right. Articulation is the way we speak, and this is very much encouraged. Uh, these are other expressions where uh, you can say it when you approach people or at any social uh, function where you are among so many people here. Sometimes we cannot remember their name. You can remember the face because they look familiar and uh, some of them you have met before. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, introductions or opening statements we can say when approaching people. Yeah. So Laili and Azwan will take turns to, to, to introduce themselves and see the proactive statements. Okay, let's hear from, from Laili. What can we say? Hello. <coughs> Hello, I'm Laili, the Accounts Manager. Okay, what about yourself? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Azwan. Yeah, pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Azwan. Next. Hello, I'm Laili. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Yeah, sometimes you can remember the face, you can't remember their, their name. So we can say, I'm so sorry. You stress on the word sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. I do not know your name, but I remember your face. Sir. Okay, next one, Azwan. Good morning. I know we've met before, but I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. I'm Azwan. Yeah. You still, you, you cannot remember the name is okay, but you still need to introduce yourself, okay? Next. Hello, you look familiar. Haven't we met before? By the way, my name is Lei. Wow, boys normally like to say this, yeah? <laughs> the pick-up line by boys. You will look familiar, whether they're familiar or not, this is a good, uh, good pick-up line, yeah? Okay, next. Hello, let me introduce myself. I am Azwan. That's right, let me introduce myself. Yeah, so you, you still introduce yourself. What have you got next? I don't think we have met. I'm Laili. Yeah, I don't think we've met or I don't think have, we've met before. Still, I am Laili. And the last one? You must be Fitri. Nice to meet you, Fitri. I'm Az- Azwan. <laughs> <laughs> the only name you know is Fitri. Yeah? If it's ideal, then you better say ideal. If you know ideal fitri, say ideal fitri, yeah? Okay, so remember ladies and, ge- ladies and gentlemen or listeners, <laughs> when you go to any social fun- functions, don't stand at the corner, don't isolate yourself, go around and meet them, introduce yourself, yeah? And, and at work, you will expand on your social circle. Okay, yeah. Zay, uh, Zay, what are the some, some common errors? Oh, I, I've picked a lot of common errors where introductions is concerned along the way. So when I talk to people, listeners, I listen to what they have to say. And I, I, I use that sometimes. Now, the common errors, yeah? Now, these are some of the common mistakes or grammatical errors most people tend to make at introductions. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to say the, the, the statement. Now, you, ta- you tell me where is the error. Myself. Zakia. Myself is Zakia. Myself, no, not yourself. Myself is Zakia. What is the, where's the error here? Myself. 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 Oh my god. Myself is Zakia. Introductions. Do you say myself? No. What do we say? My name. name. Yeah. So you don't say myself, yourself, my husband. No. You say (laughs) my name is Zakia. Not myself. Yeah. First error. Second error. I, Zakia. Rhyme. I'm. Yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, so what, what is the rhyme I'm saying? I, I Zakia. I, I'm, should be I'm. 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 should be I'm, I'm contraction I'm. or I, I am. am. I am, Zakia. Take note, yeah? Okay, the next one. My name, Zakia. <laughs> I sound like a hero, huh? My name, <laughs> Zakia. What is, the, what is the error here? Where's the error? My, my name, name is. My name is. is. 
Now, listeners, is and the am, these are the verb to be. A lot of people tend to make this error. Yeah, so remember to put in the or say the word is where it need be. Okay, I from human resource. I am. I am. Am here is also the verb to be. I am from human resource. Or I'm from human resource. Is that correct? Is that correct? I'm from human resource. I am is a contraction for I am. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people here tend to make the mistake. Uh, when to say I, when to say I'm. Okay. Coming to the next <coughs> error. I'm coming from Malacca. Where's the error? I'm coming from Malacca. This is introduction, telling the other person where you're from. I'm coming from Malacca. I'm coming. I came. I come. I come. I, I came. Come. <laughs> I come from I come Malacca. From Malacca. I come from Malacca. That means you want to say where your hometown is. Now, listeners, if you look at this sentence, this is grammatically right. If the person asked you, where are you coming from? Only when you talk about directions, then this is right. I'm coming from Malacca. This direction, south, going north. Yeah. But where introductions is concerned, you don't say, I'm coming from. You say, I come from Malacca. The next one, uh, maybe the next one will give you a clear example. I'm come from Malacca. I'm come from Malacca. Where's the error? I'm. 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 Okay, if you look at the contraction I'm, if you expand the sentence, it's I am come from Malacca. Am I right? Okay, where's the error here? M. Error is M. So it should be? I come. Yes. From Malacca. So I come from Malacca. So during your next introduction, yeah, my students coming in on Wednesday, please introduce yourself using the right verb to be. Okay, so please say it right, grammatically right, using the right verb to be. Okay, now we have seen how we can we can start a conversation by greeting. Right, Fatih? Mm -hmm. Right, Azwan? Yes. Right, Laili? Yes. Okay, and how do we introduce yourself? When you are in a company or two, or, or three, right? And and you are with, with a group of friends, more than one. How do you introduce them? Now, let us look at how to introduce people, yeah? Now, the expressions we can say in an informal manner. Now, in this scenario, let's say you want to introduce your personal assistant to your boss. Okay, Azon, how do you say it? You want to, you want to introduce <coughs> Lily is, is, is your... It's your personal assistant. How, how do you introduce Lily to a group of people? Hi everyone, meet Lily. She is my personal assistant. Yes. So hi everyone, meet Lily. She is my personal assistant. Yeah. Okay. Now formally, you say, how how do you say it formally? Formally. Yeah. Let. Uh. Let. Let me or. Let me or can I introduce you to. Lily, my personal assistant. You see, there, there's a difference here. Formal and informal. Let me introduce sounds formal. Meet my girlfriend. I wanted to say girlfriend. <laughs> Meet my personal <laughs> assistant, assistant. Lily. Yeah? So be careful here when you are when, when you're introducing somebody. Is it formal or informal? And also who are you introducing your friend to? Yeah, so there's an element of formal here. Now, um other uh, phrases are the polite expressions you can also use to introduce others. Example, maybe you can t take turns to, to read this. Azwan, can you start? Peter, I don't think you have met Lily. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. I don't think you know Azwan. Yeah, I don't think you've met Lily. I don't think you know Azwan. Yeah, next one. May I introduce you to Lily? Yeah, may I introduce you to Lily? That means you are introducing Lily to another person. Yeah, and, and the last one. Zach, I would like you to meet Azwan. Okay, uh, <laughs> Zach, I'd like you to meet Azwan. Okay, and, and lastly, I'd like to introduce my colleague. Yeah, colleague, yeah. Pronunciation here is you don't say college, college, or click, 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 click. I'd like to introduce you to my colleague. You see, like I said earlier, listeners, English is an art. The way you say it must be grammatically right, and the way you pronounce word, it must be correct. Okay, okay? Zach, so we have for a while coming back. After this, stay tuned, listeners. All right.
I really owe you I'm roaming across your mind Okay, you, ho- you hope you all enjoy listening to that song One Direction Okay, Zach Yeah, listeners, we're now going to move on to an- another session That is starting a conversation Yeah. Now, making small talks and how to get the conversation going So we must ask ourselves, what the hell do we talk about? <laughs> what can I talk? Yeah. What are the topics to talk about and what are the topics to avoid? Mm-hmm. Now, listeners, remember, it's so much easier talking to people we already know. A- a- am I right, Hadi? Yes. Yeah. I agree. And and when you talk about people, people are different. Yep. Yeah. And they have different expectations. Um, they have different personality. So likewise, they have different interests and also they have different needs. So we need to apply common sense and observation skills. Before we make the next move, am, am, am I right, Azwan and, and, and Laili? Yes. Yes. Because yes. we are both different. Now, choosing the right topic, the right word, yeah, and and the right topic, and say in the right tone. All this is done to make the other person to want to continue talking to us, and at the same time make them feel comfortable uh, talking to us. So this is not easy. It's all about knowing, knowing what, knowing what to say. When to say and who you are talking to. So, listeners, it's all about adapting, adapting, or what we can say, a behavioral adaptation, treating people the way they would like to be treated, not the way you would like to be treated. That is in the old century. Now people are different. Yeah. Now, what what can we talk about? So we have to observe ourselves. Yeah. We can talk about about business, about current issues. So what is in the headlines today? What what is new on the Edge magazine? So we talk about the current issues. If the person looked and and sounded business like, other reason why you should talk about his business. Focus on him, not so much you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, you can also talk about about stop about sports if he is in the sports attire, mm-hmm. or if he's holding a, a sports magazine. You can talk about sports, but make sure you know about the sports. If you're talking about about let's say golf. If you, and if you ask the other person, what's your handicap? And the other other person said thirty four. Don't say you must be a good golf player. Thirty four means you're yeah you're no good. You better change sports, mm-hmm. right? And um, if you're talking to to ladies, the sky is the limit. Talk about fashion, yeah. Talk about a uh, compliment on anything that, that that they have on them. But be careful if they have the brooch on their chest. Men, sifol especially, don't compliment them. Talk about something else, yeah. We can also talk about place of work, place of work. We can talk about common interests. Now, now, Azwan and Enlai, what what are some of the common interests we can talk about? Common interests, things that that we do during our free time. Shopping. Yeah, shopping. You shop till you drop. Yeah. Maybe you can talk about where do they normally shop. Mm-hmm. Well, some people say, oh, I go overseas to shop. Like mm-hmm. this lady going to Korea in, in two weeks' time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Some people they shop overseas. They don't shop in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are some some other common interests? What do you do during your free time? Jogging. Yeah, she jogs. I jog on the spot. What <laughs> <laughs> as well? What do you do during your free time? Maybe watching movies. Uh, watching movies. Yeah, you go to the cinema or you watch. Movies at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people just I cannot go to the movies. I'll sleep. <laughs> I will die definite sleep. Yeah. Okay. Now common interests. This is done by asking questions like, Are you keen on photography, or do you like photography? Um, do you like baking? Uh, she likes baking. Yeah, listen. She likes baking. Do you do, do do you swim or do you like to travel? So you asked about 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 common interests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now remember, listeners, when you want to start a conversation, you talk only about things that will make you and the other person feel comfortable. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you must also look at <coughs> at the age gap between you and the other person. Okay. And um, please. Avoid talking about areas that could possibly lead to an argument or a debate or or, or difference in opinion, like politics. Like politics, don't say, "Well, I love Palestinians." You know, I, I don't like going to Gaza. Avoid that. And also religious issues. Avoid talking about personal issues as well. Mm-hmm. Now, one important thing, listeners, never start talking about negative things. For example, you have made an appointment to see. Your client at the office, and you're meeting for the first time. Avoid talking about negative issues, or start on a negative tone. For example, the minute you sit down, don't say, "Wow, the traffic jam around your area is bad," or coming up to your office, the lift is so slow. Yeah, oh, the aircon is not hot. Can you can you 
you know, you don't start on something negative. negative. Yeah, mm -hmm. because that will put the other person on 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 the defense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, learners, we have looked at starting a conversation through greetings, also through uh, self introductions, introducing others, and ways to make small talks. And with that, I end the session this week. Please tune in for our next session next week. Same day, same time. Bye. Bye. And cheers. Bye. 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 Thank you to our guests, guests for and today. Have a good week ahead. Bye-bye. Okay, bye, Zach. Thank you. Welcome. Bye.